Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. As we know, Civil Engineering is a vast subject and we have many subdivisions like Structural Engineering, Quantity Surveying, Estimation, Casting and all. But this bar bending schedule connects the Structural Engineering and the Quantity Surveying because Structural Design gives the output of the Structural Drawing. So we have to take out the quantities from the Structural Drawing. So in that way, we create a bar bending schedule. So the engineer who is doing the bar bending schedule must know the basic details of the structural drawing and how to take out the quantities from the structural drawing, how to read the structural drawing properly. So these are all very basic things and many people think that it is a tedious process calculating the quantities, steel quantities is a tedious process and very complicated process. Let's break the concept into uh, simple segments and then make it easy to understand for everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss in detail about the bar bending schedule of an isolated footing with a detailed explanation. So without further delay, let's begin. First, let's start off with the footing plan. This is the overall footing plan. When you take the individual footing, it looks like this. This is the footing plan of F1. So here we have the column at center and this is the footing and this is the excavation plan. In this footing, 1300 is the shorter span and 1500 is the longer span. So here you have to understand the concept. Always you have to provide the shorter span of the footing which is parallel to the shorter span of the column. Similarly, longer span of the footing needs to be provided parallel to the longer span of the column. So this is the concept behind the longer span and the shorter span. Next coming to the reinforcement. So this is your reinforcement in longer direction that is mentioned as RLD and this is the reinforcement in the shorter direction this is RSD. When you take the section you have the depth of the footing and the reinforcement details over here and if you look into this reinforcement detail see this is your bottom bottom reinforcement that means this bar okay. On top of this this shorter direction bar will come so that is what it is mentioned here. This is bottom bottom and this is the bottom top bar. So you will be having the footing schedule like this. If you look into this F1, length is 1500, breadth is 1300, depth is 300 mm and reinforcement in shorter direction is 10 at 150 mm center to center. 10 is the diameter and 150 is the spacing. Similarly, in the longer direction also the same reinforcement. This reinforcement will differ according to the load which is coming on the footing and according to the structural design. You can see in this table itself we have different types of reinforcements. Now let's start the calculation. Before starting the calculation, let's look into the reinforcement details of shorter span and the longer span because this creates lots of confusion while calculating the quantities. Our main aim is to calculate the weight of the steel reinforcement. That means, so as we have discussed in the beginning, this is the mat reinforcement. We have the reinforcement in the longer direction as well as in the shorter direction. So, we have to find out the number of bars and length of each bar. Okay, so that we can find out the total weight of the steel quantity. So, here you have to understand that shorter span bars, this is the shorter span bars are parallel to the shorter span and these are the longer span bars. Longer span bars are parallel to the longer span. So, in shorter span, we have to calculate the number of bars and the length of the bar. Okay, that means this bar numbers number of bars we have to calculate and then length of the bar we have to calculate while calculating the number of bars if you take this direction see in this direction we have to count like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 till this end okay so while calculating the number of bars we have to take this dimension and while calculating the length of the bar we have to take this shorter span dimension. I hope it is clear for you. While calculating the number of bars, we have to take this longer dimension and then length means this, this side, this shorter side. Okay. So 
calculating the length we have to consider this dimension similarly when you consider this longer direction for calculating the number of bars you have to take this shorter direction dimension because in this longer direction the number of bars you will count in this way 1 2 3 4 like this and while calculating the length of the bar you have to take this longer span dimension now let's start with the calculation we are going to start with the shorter span direction number of bars we have to calculate first so, so shorter span is this one right so number of bars we have to calculate that means in this direction in this shorter span how many number of bars we are going to provide so to calculate the number of bars we have to take this longer span dimension 1500 minus clear cover clear cover is 50 so both sides we have to provide the clear cover when you take the section see there is a space this side as well as this side so 50 mm on both sides divided by 150 is the spacing when you take this one 150 mm 10 mm dia at 150 mm center to center is the spacing so 150 plus 1 always when you calculate the number of bars the length divided by spacing plus 1 so this is the formula so we get 10.33 numbers we want we can round it off to 11 also let's keep it like this and then calculate the quantity and finally we can adjust it and next one is cutting length cutting length is this this bar length we are going to calculate the bar length we know the number of bars and this length of one bar we have to calculate now so for calculating the length of one bar we have to take this dimension 1300 clear cover is 50 mm on both sides minus 50 minus 50 plus 2 multiplied by 300 minus 50 minus 50 so this one is the bending so this is the length of straight bar and then we have to calculate this bend length also on both sides so that is why we have multiplied the two and then 300 is the depth of the footing and here we are taking at the safer side we are just providing this bend till this end and we have to deduct the cover on bottom as well as at top so minus 50 minus 50 and then minus 2 multiplied by 2 into 10 so this is the bend deduction this one we are adding and then we have to deduct while bending the bar we have to deduct 2 into dia for the 90 degree bend here we are doing the 90 degree bend for 90 degree bend we can multi we can deduct 2 times dia 2 times dia is 10 mm and then both sides we are doing so that is why we have to multiply it with 2 and then minus 10 mm this is the diameter of the longer side bar because we are calculating the shorter direction bar but at the bottom we have the longer bar longer direction bar so this diameter also we have to deduct that is 10 mm and finally divided by 1000 for calculating in meter so we get 1.5 6 meter as the length of one bar sorry it is 1.55 meter if you do the calculation it is 1.55 meter as the length of one bar now we know the number of bars so if we multiply this length of one bar with the number of bar we get the total steel quantity in the shorter direction now let's do the calculation for longer span number of bars we have to find out number of bars is this one this side so you have to take this dimension 1300 mm minus 50 minus 50 clear cover divided by spacing plus 1 we get 9 numbers and next we have to find out the cutting length so for cutting length is length of one bar okay 1500 length we have to take minus 50 minus 50 and this is for the bend both sides we are bending and from the depth we are deducting the clear cover similar to this shorter span and this is for the bend deduction 2 into dia and then divided by 1000 for converting into meter 1.76 meter we are getting for the longer span now let's do the same calculation in excel sheet footing span shape of bar shape of bar is like this in shorter span as well as in the longer span and then dia is 10 mm spacing is 150 mm number of bars we have to calculate see the number of bars when you take the shorter span longer span dimension minus clear cover divided by spacing plus one and then cutting length whatever we have discussed 
the same formula applies over here so we get 1.55 meter as the cutting length and total cutting length is number of bars multiplied by the cutting length of one bar so we get 16 meter so to convert this running meter into kgs we have to use this formula d squared by 162 d is the dia of the bar dia is 10 mm so we get this value and weight of steel in kgs is this cutting length multiplied by d squared by 162 so we get it in kgs so this is how you have to do the calculation and finally we can add the overall weight steel kgs if you have different diameters you can put it in different diameter bar and then you can add all together like uh, if 10 mm is 19 kg and you, you are using you are having 12 mm bar also that you can add separately 12 mm bar this much kgs in that way you can do and finally 5 percent wastages we can add that also can be add to this total quantity so if we do that we get 20.5 kg 59 kg as the final quantity we can round it off to 21 kgs so friends that's all about the bar bending schedule of isolated footing if you understand the concept clearly it is very easy if you have any queries you can put it in the comment box i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome and also don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching